As promised, Bank of America results just hitting the wires. Wilfred Frost has the numbers. And, Wilf, what are you seeing? Hi, Becky. Yes, yeah, so uh, slight beat on both lines. Uh, revenue 22.5, forecast was 21.8 billion. EPS, uh, 37 cents a share, forecast was 28 cents uh, a share. Uh, let's dive into the provisions. Of course, a key theme for this quarter that everyone's looking at for the commercial banks. Slightly better. Uh, than expected. So that's coming at 5.1 billion for this quarter. This, of course, those provisions uh, for bad loans. Uh, last quarter it was 4.7, so an increase, but not much of an increase. Uh, people were expecting it to be a little higher, more like 5.3 billion. Of course, they have less credit card exposure within their consumer business, uh, so uh, therefore uh, performing a little better perhaps than some of the others. On the trading revenue, another big focus uh, for this quarter. They've uh, had very strong numbers year over year, but not quite as strong. Uh, as the likes uh, of Goldman Sachs yesterday. So their FIC revenue, fixed income trading, 3.2 billion. That's up 50% year over year. Goldman was up 200 plus percent. Uh, JP Morgan was up 100 plus percent. Equities, 1.2 billion. Uh, that's up 7% year over year. Investment banking, 2.2 billion. Uh, that's up 41% uh, year over year. So all of those beats relative to estimates, but not the scale of beats that we saw from some of the other uh, investment banks. The other issue uh, that Bank of America has, uh, which all of the banks have, it's just more of a focus uh, for them, uh, is in net interest income. That came in at 11 billion. The forecast was 11.2, but a lot of focus will be on what their net interest margin is, given uh, their well-known interest rate sensitivity and the, way, the direction rates have been. Uh, net interest margin, 1.87 percent. The forecast was for 2. 0.4%. Uh, so a little bit of pressure there, uh, which of course is something that will likely run in uh, to next year as well. Uh, that's really driven, though, for a good reason, huge deposit inflows they've seen. Again, something that all the big commercial banks have seen, but the scale of this for Bank of, Be Bank of America is significant. Deposits up 280 billion or 20 percent in just one quarter uh, to 1.7 trillion. There's not much they can do with that money at the moment, and that drags down uh, that net interest margin given, uh, given where rates are. So uh, the stock down about uh, half a percent or so, it looks, uh, in the pre-market.